Welcome to our place value and rounding flipped video. Um, you're going to need to have your recording sheet in front of you. And remember that if you have any questions, please come back at any time and ask um, if you have any questions or you don't understand something. And remember that this is an introduction to what we will be learning next week. So this is kind of so you come in and you're not surprised by anything whenever we get started next week. So I hope you enjoy our video. Let's start off with some vocabulary. First, place value. Place value is the value of a place of a digit. So, whenever I look at the number 295 and I look at the nine that's in the tens place, the nine is not just worth nine. It's actually worth 90 because it's in the tens place. Just like the two in the hundreds place is not worth two, it's worth 200. So for your example, I'm going to show you what I want for an example and a non-example, and then you can create your own numbers on your homework and do your own. So let's look at the number 6,482. So I'm going to underline the four in the hundreds place, and I'm going to say that that's worth 400. For my non-example, I can use the same number or a different number, and I'm going to underline the four and say it's just worth four. Another way to help you remember um, place value is Big Mama Told You. And Big Mama Told You means billions, millions, thousands, and units. And I'll show you on this next slide. So we have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and billions. So the B in Big Mama Told You is billions. All of this is going to be the millions place or the millions period all of this, the millions, 10 millions, and 100 millions. This is going to be the thousands, thousands, 10 thousands, 100 thousands, and this is the units. So this is big mama told you, billions, millions, thousands, units. It's just a way to help you remember place value because when you start getting into the billions, it gets a little crazy. Let's talk about how to round the numbers. So I have the number eight. That number is in the ten thousands place. The three, I'm gonna draw an arrow from the three to the eight. That's gonna show that the three decides what happens to the eight. So I have a little saying. Numbers zero through four don't do anything to the number. It just lets it stay the same. Numbers five through nine up the score. So I say four or less, let it rest. That means just leave the number as it is. Five or more up the score. That means you can up it the score by one. So when I'm looking at 4,783,821, I'm just looking right here. So I'm going to know that this three is going to let this eight rest. It's just going to be an eight. I'm going to draw a line through everything behind it because that arrow shows that I'm scooting all those numbers out of there. I'm blasting through them and they're all going to become zeros. Now, the numbers in front, you can't just ignore these. They just come along for the ride anyway. So my new rounded number is 4,780,000. That's my new number that gets rounded. Okay? Let's look at this one. Let's look at the nine in the ten thousands place again. Well, this six, the number before the nine, decides what happens to the nine, his neighbor to his right. So I'm gonna say, well, four or less, let it rest, five or more, up the score. So I'm gonna up this score. Well, this nine, if I up the score, becomes a 10. So do I write my number like this? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to write the 10 because the 10 is a two-digit number and each place value can only have one digit. So I have to put a zero here and then this four has to become a five because I had to move that those tens over. So I had to move them over here and make this a five. Then this becomes a zero 
and everything behind it, when you draw that arrow, becomes a zero. So when I had the number 10, I had to up the score here and here. If you have a nine, that's going to happen. Please feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to and come back and um, if you have any questions. And remember, we're going to be talking about this next week also, and we're going to continue to talk about place value. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, these are going to be awesome because you can pause this, you can rewatch it, you can ask your teachers any questions that you have. And I know that this is going to be an amazing year.